Hi, this is Dynamax369 and this time I'm going to show you how to flare copper tubing. Uh, first I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use my flaring tool. Uh, my tube cutter. That's basically all you need plus the tubing and, and fittings you're going to use you are going to use a measuring tape uh, that's pretty much all you're going to use the first thing you're going to do is measure everything you're gonna everything you need measure and and cut to size everything that you're gonna use okay the first thing you're gonna have to do after you measure let's say you need a pipe ele uh, a tubing 11 inches uh, in length first thing you're gonna have to do is cut and it's very important to deburr this uh, this end or the end you're gonna uh, be joining to the to the feeding is to maintain a proper flex seal I'm gonna show you uh, how it comes out if you do not deburr first you have to set your your tool to half inch for half inch tubing this tool has like various sizes I think from 1 8 uh, let me see from 1 from 3 16 to 5 8 I today I'm using half inch and 3 8 almost in all cases uh, you clamp your your tubing like this and you just leave about one eighth of an inch sticking out of the surface right in there and then you just place your your tool in place and start doing your flare now remember this is without deburring I'm going to show you the importance of doing that because if you don't do it you're not going to have a a proper seal and I'm going to show that to you I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. Uh, there, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little uh, bump or I don't know what to call it. Uh, there, and then you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of crooked after I flared it it came out crooked and the the debris or the burrs that uh, that were left when I cut it with my tubing cutter uh, stayed on the inside part of the tubing and then when I, I flared it they just to stay there they bent to the inside and that that's not gonna make you have a good seal so it is very important to deburr all the the joints you're gonna make, all the, the all the flares you're gonna you're gonna make. Very very important to to do it. Okay, I am now gonna show you how to 
do it properly. I'm just gonna cut. Okay, and many of your tubing cutters have this thing right here, and that is what you're gonna use to deburr the inside part of your tubing right there. Now they sell these tools that have uh, a blade. Uh, of course you can buy one of those and, and be bare with one of those. It's like a some sort like a handle and then it has a like a z-shaped blade and then you stick it right there and you start deburring I don't have one of those tools I think I don't need it since I deburr with this thing of course the other tool since it is made for that you're gonna work a lot much faster of course but this works for me and I do not have to spend money on an extra tool uh, because I don't use it too much I I, ju I just do this kind of jobs occasionally not not very often okay there you go then you're just gonna give it a little clean with the edge of the of that uh, blade, or you're just gonna clean the the tip of the tube like that. And then what you're gonna have to do, I'm not, I'm gonna work on this piece because it's a little bigger. Uh, it's uh, easier to show on, on the video, but before you clamp it with your tool, you have to stick the the fitting inside the tubing because once it's flared, you're not going to be able to. If this is connected someplace else or the other side is already flared, you're not going to be able to, to uh, put this thing on the tubing. So it is very important to do that first. If, if you have already a flare on this side okay you wanna have to place the the fitting that goes right here like this so you're gonna have to put it to the to the side that, that is not flared and this way so so that when you have a fitting you are just going to put it this way so very important if you flare one side first without no uh, uh, fittings you make sure it is not like crooked like this so you can slice it right uh, and easy or if you're gonna It, the tube is bent like this and uh, you wanna start by putting the fitting first this way and then clamp it then start making your flare okay but it, it is very important to, to do that first now I don't have a fitting half inch so let's say that I already placed the fitting right there. The half inch. This is three eighths. Half inch. Let's say I, I have already done that. What I'm gonna do? Grab my my pipe like that.
clamp it. And pull your your pipe apart. I don't know if you can see right there. The the pipe it's squared and you don't have those burrs right here anymore. So you are going to be able to to make a a perfect seal right there with your with your fitting I'm gonna show you how it looks on a 3 8 of an inch okay I'm just gonna show you how it how to do it on a 3 8 of an inch tubing you deburr first clean the top part or the tip of the by just scraping the all the debris or the deburrs place your fitting like this Set your tool to three eighths of an inch. Clamp it uh, uh, about one eighth to, to, to about one eighth from the surface of the tool right there. Clamp it. Place it like this and start doing your flare. Just unclamp it. There you go. It's not coming out. And you're gonna make a perfect seal, just like that. This is simple. All you have to take care of is measure and do it as I try to show it to you. Cut it, uh, deburr it. Place your feeding, flare it, and you're set. You're set to go. Just have to connect your things and you're ready to go. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like it or subscribe. I'm going to try to make some more videos. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know. Thank you.